Hey you peeps, it's Jamina and for today I'm gonna get you guys a closer look to where I store my most prized possession, the foundation of this booktube channel and basically the reason as to why I'm always excited to wake up every day. My bookshelves. So this brown bookshelf is the one that you guys see on almost every of my videos. This is the one that I shoot in front of but I also have another bookshelf mounted above. Throughout this video you guys will probably notice that the arrangement of my books is kind of complicated I guess. I put my favorites together and the rest goes by height or color or genre. So enough with the babbling, sit back, watch, and relax. I feel like this one's gonna be one hell of a long video. Hello again guys, this one's my first bookshelf. I got it back in 2015 when I was just starting to really hoard books. But when my collection started to grow, I had to get another one because of lack of space. So right now it's where I store most of my contemporary books and as you can see, I tried going for the color combination type of look for the first four cubes boxes or sections of my bookshelf. But then I don't think I was really able to ultimately achieve the look I was going for. But hey, at least I tried. So anyway, since this bookshelf is placed super duper high above the floor and my arms are already shaking, I decided to just have a close-up of each of the sections but then the actual focusing of the books will be done in front of the second bookshelf. So these are some of my red books like blood and they are Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot, Girls in Pants, The Third Summer of the Sisterhood by Anne Shares. Real Life Boyfriends by E. Lockhart. They All Fall Down by Roxanne St. Clair, which my friend Abby gave to me. Two copies of This Is Where the World Ends. One which my friend Kate gave to me last Christmas. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. Falling Into Place by Amy Zhang. Simon vs. The Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. The Year We Became Invincible by Mei Kyoto. Pretenders by Lizzie Harrison. The Alchemy of Forever by Avery Williams and Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. Next, I have here my yellow brownish books. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver, The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Satterfield, and Unrivaled by Alice Noel, both books which my best friend Chloe gave to me. Fire with Fire by Jenny Han and Sabian Vivian, Who All the Boys I've Loved Before, Yes, I Still Love You, and Always and Forever Lara Jean, All by Jenny Han, Every Day by David Levithan, Carry On by Rainbow Rowett, The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants by Andrew Shares, My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Manga, and The Crowns Game by Evelyn Sky. Then I have here my green books, which I don't really have much of. I have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins, Forevermore by Cindy Miles, Diary of a Wimpy Kid The Last Straw by Jeff Kinney, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Glee The Foreign Exchange by Sophia Lowell, the Princess Diaries, Mia Goes Forth by Meg Gabot, How to Love by Katie Kotugno, If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, The Princess Diaries, Give Me Five by Meg Gabot, and The Boyfriend List by E. Lockhart. And for my final color-coordinated bookshelf, I have here my blue, violet, and white books. The Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rothenberg, Between the Lies by Jodie Pickled and Samantha Van Leer, The Princess Diaries Take Two by Meg Cabot, Safe Haven by Nicholas Parks, Forever in Blue, The Fourth Summer of the Sisterhood by Andrew Shears, The Here and Now by Andrew Shears, Ghost Girl Homecoming by Tanya Hurley, Zoe Dean's Almost Famous, The Second Summer of the Sisterhood by Andrew Shears, The Impossibility of Tomorrow by Avery Williams, Mostly Good Girls by Layla Sales, and A Thousand Pieces of You and Ten Thousand Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. Then for this next part, I have some of my hardbacks, which are, by the way, super duper sarap hawakan. In paperback edition, I have your Ghost Girl Love Sick by Tanya Hurley, Infamous by Lauren Conrad, and The Dead Boyfriend by R.L. Stein. For the actual hardbacks, I have your Dumplin' by Julie Murphy, This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab, Home Room Diaries by James Patterson, Keep Holding On by Susan Colasanti, City Love by Susan Colasanti, Need by Joelle Charbonneau, The Fall of Butterflies by Andrea Portes, My Lady Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, Panic by Lauren Oliver, Maybe One Day by Melissa Cantor, Another Day by David Levitin, Mockingjay by Susan Collins, Better Than Perfect by Melissa Cantor, Insurgent by Veronica Roth, The Siren by Kiara Cass, License to Spill by Lizzie Harrison, The Towering by Alex Flynn, and Atlantia by Ali Condi. This is a quick overview of my first bookshelf. This 
this part are composed of popular books that I haven't read yet. Yes, I haven't read yet. And these are City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, and City of Fallen Angels all by Cassandra Clare. Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. For this next part, I have here books that contain the elements of like werewolves and vampires and angels and such. These are Replica by Lauren Oliver, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn, the second, third, and fourth books of the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer, the bind-up edition of Hush Hush Parts 1 and 2 by Becca Fitzpatrick, and Faithful by Claudia Gray. Akin to the previous section, these books are also about supernatural things. These are Night World by L.J. Smith, White Hot Kiss, Stone Cold Touch, and Every Last Breath all by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I also have Alice in Zombieland, Through the Zombie Glass, and Queen of Zombie Hearts, the first, second, and third books of The White Rabbit Chronicles by Jenna Shaw Walder. Finally, I have Undead by Kirsty McKay. Then I have your just random hardbacks and paperbacks. Here I have Terms and Conditions by Robert Clancy, Gates of Paradise by Melissa de la Cruz, A Stranger in Mayfair by Charles Finch, The Gathering by Kelly Armstrong, 2 AM at the Cat's Pajamas by Marie Helene Berlino, A Daughter's Duty by Maggie Hope, I Can See You by Karen Rose, and My Husband Next Door by Catherine Alliot. On the left side of my bookshelf, First, I have here some of my sci-fi books. The Originals by Cat Patrick, The Fifth Wave, The Infinite Sea, and The Last Star by Rick Yancey. I also have Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And The 100 Trilogy, which is composed of The 100, Day 21, and Homecoming by Casmore. Next, I have here some of my dark-looking books. Emphasize on the looking. I have here Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, and Library of Souls all by Ransom Riggs, Zoe Latigo by Nora Price, The Evolution of Mara Dyer, and The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, Hourglass by Myra McIntyre, and Shallow Graves by Kali Wallace. Next, I have here some mystery slash detective slash thriller books. Dead to Me by Kath Staincliffe, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout, The Dead Girls Detective Agency by Susie Cox, Paper Towns by John Green, The Perfectionists and the Good Girls by Sarah Shepard, The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson, Blackbird by Anna Carey, and Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Next, I have here, again, just random books piled up together. I have In the Name of Sorrow and Hope by Noah Ben Artsy Pilosov, Matched by Ali Condi, The Maze Runner by James Tashner, Through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi, and I Darken by Kirsten White, Endgame The Calling by James Frey and Nils Johnson Shelton, The Wrath of Angels by John Connolly, and The Age of Radiance, The Epic Christ, and Dramatic Fall of the Atomic Era by Craig Nelson. So for the lower part of the center of my bookshelf, I have here some dystopian, some fantasy, and some, some middle school, and even some classic. First, I have Delirium Stories by Lauren Oliver. Into the Steel Blue by Veronica Rossi, Beautiful Chaos by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Reached by Ali Condi, Invisible Tower by Nils Johnson Shelton, Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, and Unite Me by Tahere Mafi, The Selection, The Elite, The One, The Air, The Crown, and Happily Ever After All by Kiara Cass, Love and Misadventure by Lang Lee, Order of Darkness by Philippa Gregory, which my friend Jerry gave to me, The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, The Prince by Nicola Machiavelli, which my social studies teacher gave to me, Pride and Prejudice, Another Copy of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Emma by Jane Austen, The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle All by C.S. Lewis, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas, Emily the Strange Peace of Mind, and Emily the Strange Dark Times by Rob Reacher. Next, I have here my fantasy books, which are mostly Rick Riordan's writings. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini, Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson, Percy Jackson's Greek Gods by Rick Riordan and illustrations by John Rocco, 
The Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan, Magnus Chase's The Sword of Summer, and Magnus Chase's The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan, and finally Guide to the Norse World by Rick Riordan. Then I have Dorothy Must Die, The Wicked Will Rise, Yellow Brick War, The End of Oz, Dorothy Must Die Stories, and Dorothy Must Die Stories Volume 2 all by Daniel Page. Then I also have The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, The False Prince by Jennifer A. Nielsen, The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan, The Blood of Olympus, The Mark of Athena, The Son of Neptune, and The Lost Hero all by Rick Riordan. And finally, for my most favorite shelf, these are the books that pierced fractured and trampled over my fragile heart. And there goes my arm. Wow, I'm so cringeworthy in this video. So anyways, these are all my all-time favorite books except for Heartless because at that time, it was my current read. So yup, my most favorite book is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. And I also have the hardback edition of that because why not? Next, I have two copies of the hardback edition of its sequel, Glass Sword. And by the way, I just forgot to show it to you guys, but I got those two Red Queen books and one of the Glass Sword copies signed by Victoria Aveyard herself when she went here in the Philippines last February 2016. And I also have King's Cage as well as the bind-up edition of Queen Song and Steel Scars, Cruel Crown, which is still part of the Red Queen stories by Victoria Aveyard. For my next favorite books, I have here Cinder by Marisa Meyer, its sequel Scarlet, as well as Cress, Winter, Ferris, and Stars Above. Another favorite series of mine is the Young Elites trilogy by Marine, which is composed by the Young Elites, the Rose Society, and the Midnight Star. This is the part when I realized that one of my recent purchases actually fell behind all my other books, and that is The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine. Back to my faves, I have here Pivot Point by Casey West. Finally, I have here Stealing Snow by Daniel Page, which was my 2016 favorite. This is a quick overview of my second bookshelf. everybody i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of me then please click subscribe bye